Good morning, YMCA family. I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. We are going to silver sneakers it out this morning, so I hope you are ready for a little bit of energy and a little bit of fun. Uh, before we get started, uh, what do you need? Um, I've got a chair. Um, hopefully you've got a chair that's nice and steady and sturdy. Um, I'm probably going to move my chair around a little bit so that you can see me. So um, hopefully you are positioned somewhere at home where you don't have to move your chair around. Or if you do, just be very careful. Um, I've got a nice wide open space. As we start to move, when we get into just a little bit of cardio, uh, be very gentle if you are on carpet, right? Because sometimes there's a little bit of friction there. So just want to make sure that you are nice and steady. Um, what else? I've got some light weights, right? I've got these light weights just here. Um, if you don't have light weights, there are many options lying around your very own home. Um, if Amazon hasn't delivered your weights yet, right? Maybe you've got some cans of soup, some cans of beans that you can use. Um, I've got right here just some coffee cups. You can hang on to those and maybe we can use those for just a little bit of curling. So we don't have to have a tremendous amount of weight, just something to give you the idea of a little bit of weight there, right? Or maybe you've got some water bottles that are filled up with water, right? Just make sure those lids are nice and tight. Uh, what else do you need today? Uh, believe it or not, you do need a roll of toilet paper instead of our small ball that we would use if we were normally in class, right? So a little bit of toilet paper just for a little inner thigh work. No harm will come to your toilet paper, I promise. So I'm going to make sure that those items are set nice and safely right here underneath my chair for now. Um, hurry, grab what you need, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've also got some water. Did I mention that? And I've got that water right here underneath me. In fact, before we get going, let's have a little sip. I think that would be a great idea. There we go. You get water anytime you need it. If I don't cue you or if I forget, you guys know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of forgetful sometimes. So you get water when you need it. All right, you've got your stuff, you've got your space. And remember, it's awesome that you are here. One, because we are stronger together, and we are all here together working out this morning. And also, in the immortal words of our dear friend Kelly, the only bad workout is the workout that doesn't happen. So this is about to happen, and therefore it's gonna be great. All right, so we've got our chair. We're gonna start with just a little bit of stretching and bending this morning. Then we'll stand up, we'll get a little bit of cardio, um, and then we will finish with all kinds of muscle tone. Eventually we'll come back to seated and you'll be ready for Tuesday. Okay, you got your stuff? You got your coffee cups? You ready? All right, let's go ahead here. Lift up nice and tall. Go ahead and scoot just away from your chair a little bit. Let's lift up nice and tall, shoulders over hips. Perfectly lovely posture. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale, breathe out. Park those hands right there on those thighs. And let's just gently loosen up that neck. So just a couple of easy rotations. Easy and gentle. And then let's slowly here roll that head the other way. Be very careful when you take that head on around to the back. You don't want to press it back too far. It's just an easy, gentle movement, right? So as always, if there's something that we do that doesn't feel right to your body, you modify it or you wait for us to finish before we move on to that next exercise. Excellent. Nice. Let's give those shoulders a couple of rolls here. So scoop those shoulders up to the ears and exhale back and down. Let's take another inhale, scoop and lift and exhale down. How about one more time? Inhale, scoop it up and exhale down. Let's open up your chest. So let's take your hands on around behind you. You can maybe grab your chair or depending on how your chair is, you might be able to interlace those fingers here behind that chair. And let's open up that chest and look up to the sky. Hang on to the chair. We're parking and pressing that heart center upward. And back we go to the center. Park your hands on those legs. Let's give a little bit of space between those feet. And let's just drop on down into an easy trunk rotation. Inhale, lift, and exhale, come on down. We'll take a couple of these. We are loosening up that body. As I like to say, motion is lotion for the body, right? We have to move it to keep it happy. 
Good. Opposite direction. Roll around. Big swoopy slow circles. And those hands can give you just a little bit of support as you come on around to the front. How about one more? And we'll come back up to the top. Go ahead and duck walk those feet in. Let's pay attention to our feet. So let's just roll the heels off the floor and set them back down and then rock the toes off the floor and set them down. Let's do a couple of these. So heels and down and toes and down. Take a few, move at your own pace. Pay attention to those ankles in just a moment. How about one more there and relax. Very nice. Take your toes and we're going to scrunch your toes up in your shoes. So scrunch them up and then flatten out those toes. Spread those toes out, right? I know you can feel it. You can't see it. You can't see my toes, but scrunch up your toes in your shoes and spread them out. And one more time, scrunch up your toes in your shoes and spread them out. Good. Wiggle out those toes. Wiggle, wiggle. Let's go ahead and pick up one leg. Doesn't matter which. Just pick it up so that we can just point the toes and flex the foot. Let's just take a couple of these. So a little pointing and a little flexing. As we're working those feet before we stand up, it's a good moment to check in with your shoes. Make sure your shoes are tied. Right? All about the safety. Good. Roll those ankles around. Make some circles. Both ways. Very nice. Wiggle out that foot, set it down, and let's go ahead and pay attention to the other leg. So a little pointing and flexing and pointing and flexing. There we go. Lovely. Go ahead here, roll that ankle around, make some circles in one direction. And make some circles in the opposite direction. Good, good. Relax that foot down. Here we go, nice and easy. Wiggle out that upper body. Let's go ahead and move into a nice seated sun salutation. So again, you're pressed a little bit forward away from the back of your chair. That way we've gotta make that active effort to work on our posture. And let's bring your hands to your heart here at Namaste. We're gonna lock your thumbs, place your thumbs right over your heart, and we're gonna do a few of these, right? So every time we change the direction of the body, we change the direction of the breath. So inhale here and exhale, there we go. So inhale, send those hands forward, up and back. Here at the top, we've got that little itty bitty backwards bend, look to the sky. Then we're gonna go ahead and hinge forward at the hips, scoop those arms forward, release those hands, and then press those hands back behind you, right? As if you're in the pool, we're hinging forward, and those palms are reaching up to the sky. Very nice. From here, let's go ahead and scoop, bring those hands forward, lock the thumbs. Inhale, once again, open up that chest to the sky, looking up and then lowering down. We're gonna do that twice more. So take a breath, inhale, scoop and lift. Looking up to the sky, open up those ribs. Good, hinge forward, separate the hands, Push as if you are moving water with your hands. Push those palms back. Extend out through the crown of the head, flat back. And then release, scoop the arms forward, lock the thumbs, up we go, back up to the top. There's that little backwards bend once again. Open up the chest and lower down. One more time, easy peasy. Inhale, up and back. Open up that chest, shoulders down. And separate, hinge forward, push the air back, push that water back with those hands. 
reaching those palms up to the sky. And then release, scoop those hands forward, lock the thumbs. Up we go, lifty, lifty. Open up that chest and lower down, hands to the heart. Good, let's give it a little dip, shall we? Take one elbow down to that same thigh and let's just press that opposite elbow up. If you need to, you can widen those feet a little bit and let's look up to the sky. A nice oblique stretch. We'll have to throw in another one of those when we come standing. Good, lift up to the top, take that opposite elbow to the opposite side, press, press skyward. Oh, obliques. Take a breath, lift up tall, and then let's go ahead and if you can, interlace your fingers, push those palms forward up in front of you. And let's just reach out in the front so we can get that lovely stretch into your upper back. And release it. Good job, bring it down. Let's give it a spinal twist, and then I think it'll be time to come standing, right? So we're gonna rotate on around. Let's go ahead and choose a direction, doesn't matter which. We're gonna rotate around. Maybe you can reach on around, grab that chair, take that hand around to that opposite thigh, and we will look over that shoulder. So don't force it. You just wanna feel that nice little squeeze, and you wanna think about lifting up nice and tall. Nice, tall spine as we rotate. Fantastic. Come on through the center and then let's just rotate on around to the other side. So reach on around, grab the back of that chair, give you a little bit of assist, make sure there's no slumping, but we are lifted up tall. Good, good. And to the center. Beautiful. Give everything a little wiggle. Take those arms, scoop those arms out to the side, reach out through those fingertips, reach, reach, reach. Inhale, lift up, and let's open up that chest here once again, because we need to open up that chest, right? Squeeze those elbows back, look up to the sky, and try to bring those elbows back behind you, right? There we go. Lovely, lovely chest opener. Take a breath, inhale here. Exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. Good job. Reach those arms up to the sky. Exhale. Bring those arms down. Give that upper body a little wiggle. Everything should be feeling pretty good, I think, at least. A little bit more on alert. How about some water? That would be a good idea. I'm going to place my water right over here out of the way with my cup collection. And then it is time for us to come standing. So be very aware of where you have put those items that we gathered up, right? I'm gonna go ahead and pull my weights out here from underneath my chair. And I'm just gonna move my chair here over to the side. There we go, just so that I can see you. So, are you up? Everything is safe? All right, standing tall again. Check in with your posture. Are your shoulders over your hips? Are you lifted? Today, as you go out about your day, Let's really think about how tall you are standing, right? No slumping, but just a lovely lifted posture. Always, good. All right, so that now we're standing, let's go ahead and just get that body moving a little bit. Just a little bit of marching in place. No problem, right? We just gotta move. Fantastic. So again, be very aware what you're standing on. So gonna have to make sure you pick up your feet when we do start to move. So we're just marching. It's all good. Lovely. Let's go ahead and push those arms to the sky as we march. So press and down, and press and down. Hello, delts. Press and down. Just a little movement. There we go. You've got four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bring those arms down. You can set them on your hips if you'd like. And let's go a little bit side to side. So a little step, tap, step, tap. No problem, right? Movement is good. Good job. So thinking too, see not only do I have you thinking about posture, but I'd be thinking about movement. So maybe later on today, 
you're, you know, hanging out, watching TV. You finished all the dishes, right? There's nothing left to clean in the house. <laughs> if you're just hanging out, maybe there's a commercial break. Stand up, do a few of these, right? As long as we are moving, it is good, right? Let's give it a little four, three, two, now heels to the front. Let's just give it a little tap and tap. Same thing as the march. Oh, we're just heel tapping. Easy peasy. Heels and heels and heels and heels. Lovely. Heel taps. Easy peasy, right? If you're feeling a little fancy, you might be able to pull those knees up a little bit, right? How about four, three, it's just gonna be a bigger march, two, and one. Bigger march, up and up and up. You don't have to go so quickly. You can slow it down, right? Just a little lift and lower, lift and lower. Just a bigger march than we did earlier, right? Your chair is nearby. If you need to grab it, please do. Down. So a little bigger march, and we're working on that balance. So important. Good. I'm gonna go back to that side to side in just a moment. How about four, three, two, and one. Very nice. A little step tap side to side. Excellent. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, can we please pick up some weights? Soon, very soon, very soon. Good job, guys. Come on, let's give it a little four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Back to the center, give it a little wiggle, and wiggle out everything. Fantastic. So, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my chair, being very careful of my little waist there, all right? So let's go ahead and come on to the side of your chair. We're going to give it a lovely stretch, and then we're going to pick up some weights, right? So, let's go ahead and hang on to that chair. I've got some wide space here between my feet. My toes are angled out just a little bit. So you're definitely gonna hang on to that fella. Reach out that opposite arm and let's give it a little stretch away from the chair. And we're gonna scoop over towards it because obliques, that's why I reach. And lift, let's do that again. So scoop and reach. You have two more. Scoop and reach one more time. Scoop and reach. Lovely. Park that hand here down on that hip. If your feet are super wide, you might want to bring them in a little bit. So here we are. We're hanging on to that chair. Lovely posture. Pull your tummy in and let's check your balance. So up and down and up on those toes, up and down and up and down. Four more, four and down, three and down, two and down and one and down. Are you feeling fancy? Yeah, up we go. Send one arm up to the sky, squeeze in your tummy, squeeze in your hind parts, if you can, if your balance is strong, maybe reach your hand away from that chair. Maybe, right? You might not need to. You might want to just leave it right there. It's your choice. And we'll lower down. Fantastic. So we did some obliquing. We did some balancing. Let's go ahead and rotate towards your chair, right? So I've got a nice big step back with that one leg. Remember which leg is back, yeah? So here we are, we're hinging forward. We've got a little calf stretch. Keep your knees nice and soft, but there's a little calf stretch. And excellent, 
Good, good, good. And then we're gonna go ahead and come on up, standing on that foot. One leg is positioned behind you. Open up that chest, and now let's lift this leg. So lift and lower, and lift and lower. We're squeezing up your glute, and lowering, and lift and lower. Up and down, and up and down. A few more, and then we're gonna get stuck. Stuck is good, good. How about two more? I think that'll make a lift and down. Good, now take it up. Give me a little pulse right here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Itty bitty pulse. Squeeze that glute. So you're squeezing the glute. Might start to feel it maybe in that lower back just a little bit, but let's focus on opening up that chest and perhaps, again, checking your balance. Pulse, 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 pulse. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, bring it in, wiggle it out. Good, good. Excellent. So we need to flip over to the other side. So you know what that means? That means I'm rotating my chair. You just come on around to the other side of yours. So there we are. Lovely. All right, we've got those nice wide feet once again. Toes angled out slightly, knees soft. Make sure you don't lock those guys out, right? So, hand on the chair, opposite arm out. Let's reach away from your chair and scoop it over. Oh, this is the best part of your day right here. Reach and scoop. You have two more. Reach and scoop. Last time, reach and scoop. That's a nice scoop. Bring it on down, relax that arm, park it here on your hip perhaps, right? If those feet are too wide, bring them in a little bit and let's work on that balance. So belly in, derriere's tight, shoulders back. Let's go, up and down and up and down and down. I hope that your chair is a little bit taller than mine. Up and down and up and down. I believe you have three more, two more, one more. Wherever you are, up and stay. Hang on to that chair. Scoop an arm up tall and maybe again Check your balance. Good balance. Lower down. Beautiful. Rotate towards your chair. So the leg, well, the leg that's closest to me, hopefully, is back. So we've got a lovely calf stretch here. Let's hang on to that for just a bit. Very nice. Now we're going to work that glute. So hang on. Take a breath and come forward. So standing on that leg, opposite leg here behind you, open up that chest and let's do a few lifts. So lift and down and lift and down. You got it, up and down, up and down. I think there's five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one. Now take it up there and let's give it that little pulse. Nice, easy pulse. We're squeezing that glute. That leg doesn't have to be super high for you to feel it. Make sure that the leg you're standing on is soft and easy. Come on, pulse it out. How about four, three, two, and one. Lovely, bring it down. Maybe give those hips a little wiggle, and then I'm gonna rotate here on around to the front. So we did that glute, we did the big glute, right? The gluteus maximus. Let's work a little bit on that gluteus medius, that little guy inside. We did this last week, so I'll come rushing back to you. So hanging onto your chair, I've just rotated, right? I'm gonna send one leg out to the side and flex that foot. 
all we're going to do is a little lift here. So instead of that leg now lifting behind you, it's just out to the side. But do keep that foot flexed. Pull those toes up towards your head. Right? So again, tiny movement, but we have to work here that gluteus medius. And that is just such an excellent, excellent thing to work. If you've got knee problems, keeping this gluteus medius strong helps to take some of the pressure off those knees. So we're working here into the glute to help strengthen, you know, all of that lower chain and stabilize that body. So little pulse here, right? How about we give it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Fantastic. We gotta do the other leg, which means I'm gonna flip around. I'm gonna face this way. So no cheating, right? I still have my eyes on you, I promise, right? So flip it on around. Take that leg out because I, I see you back there, right? Flex that foot and let's just do those little itty bitty lifts. Foot is flexed and we're lifting. So chances are the side of your body that's just standing there, the one that just did all the work, chances are he's feeling this as well, right? Because that side's already tired. That's not a bad thing. Come on, guys. I see you. I promise you. There we go. There's those little itty bitty lifts. We just have a few more. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. We'll flip around. So see, see, I told you I can see you, right? So hopefully you feel that all up in here, right? That's a good thing, right? Wiggle, wiggle. Beautiful. Alrighty, let's work on your back. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a weight and we're going to do a little lawn mowering. Hang on to your chair. So I've got my right hand on the chair, my left foot's back a little bit, and I've got the weight in my left hand. So right hand, right foot on the chair, weight in that left hand. And we're going to do a little lawn mower. So squeeze in your belly using that chair for support, and let's just pull that weight back. Start your lawnmower. Mowing season has arrived, guys. Springtime, things are growing. Everything is greening up. It's great. Come on. Keep that elbow close to your body as you start your lawnmower. Pull, release. Pull, release, pull, release. Are you counting? I am, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. We got to flip to the other side. So, other way around, right? Left foot towards your chair, weight in the right hand, and we're gonna row. I'm flipping around, you flip around to the other side of your chair, yes? So here we are, and we're just rowing. And release, and row, release. That's all we're doing. So you've got your hand on your chair, you can put your hand on your thigh, but that's for the support that you need as we are moving and working here into your back, right? A little bit of tricep, a little bit of bicep. This is a little bonus. But as you hinge forward, your tummy is in. Fantastic, I gotcha. You're not ready to count to eight yet. Now you are, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Up we go to the top. Back should feel pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab both weights or no weights. We're just going to squeeze your weights on around behind you. So your weights are here next to your hips and we're going to squeeze those guys around to the back. So they're not going far. They're just 
moving here around the hips. So that way, basically, we're just taking those shoulders, squeezing them back and pressing your chest forward. So let's go squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Easy peasy. And we aren't gonna do a million of them. Just a few, come on. Open the chest, release it. Squeeze the shoulder blades, release them. You've got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Release it to the center. Let's go ahead and set one weight down, and we are now going to work some biceps. So you definitely need your chair. Alrighty, and we're gonna work those biceps and we're gonna add a little fun balance to it. So, comfortable feet for now. Bring one weight forward, or actually let's do hammer curls today. So if we do hammer curls, then that wrist is nice and straight. So here we are, we're just gonna curl this weight up and release it. So make sure that as we do this, there's not a lot of swinging going on. It's just nice and easy and stable. So lift and lower, very slowly so that as you curl that weight up, you can think about your bicep, right? So what are you curling today? Do you have weights? Do you have cans of soup? Cans of tomatoes? What do you have going on today? And release. So if you're accustomed to lifting something a little heavier and you have just a lighter weight today, that's okay. But I want you to really think about the action that you're performing. So if you squeeze that bicep as you lift and lower, you can really make that muscle work, right? So squeeze, release, squeeze. If it's too heavy, put it down and still perform the motion. As long as you are thinking about that muscle, you're still gonna feel it. So squeeze, release, one more time, squeeze, release. Same motion, but I want you to hang on to your chair and pick that inside foot up. That's all we're doing. So same thing, squeeze, release, squeeze. Think about that bicep. That makes four. You got a few more. You can always check your balance. You're feeling super fancy, right? Come on. You've got four more. Let's go. Four, release. Three, release. Two, release. One, release. Bring it down. Set that foot down. Good time to check in with your balance. And then we've got to change to the other side. So, all right, you come on around to the other side of your chair. I am parking mine right there. So hang on to it. Comfortable space. We have a few of these without the balance. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Let's go up and down and up. I think I'm going to sneeze. You keep going though, right? I think it's coming. I think. Come on. No? Maybe not. <laughs> My sneeze went away. Let's go. Curl, release, curl, release. Good biceps today. Curl, release. You have four, down, three, squeeze that muscle, two, down, and one, down. Now, if you can, take that foot closest to the chair, pick them up off the floor. This standing leg is up nice and tall. Don't sink into it. Lift up tall and continue to curl the bicep. So we squeeze, release. You have 10 more. I'm counting. I have 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and 
three, check your balance perhaps, two, and one. Beautiful. Release it, set it down, wiggle it out, and let's set both weights down. We're gonna do a little down dog, then we gotta get some shoulders done. So let's go ahead and step those feet back, a little bit of space between those feet, and then let's give it a good stretch in down dog. So as we try to flatten out your back here, we've got that lovely stretch all through that spine. So upper, middle, lower, plus your hammies. Scoop and round. Cat stretch, your knees are soft. Our necks are relaxed so we can look back at those knees and make sure that they are soft. Flatten it out, neutral spine. There's that down dog again. Ah, take a breath and scoop. Round and roll, back up towards your chair. Good. So let's get some shoulders down. We've got some shoulders. We've got to do some triceps, and then we've got to definitely get those inner thighs in. So your light weights, whatever you've got. All right. We're gonna do some forward. Uh, it was just a little bit, a little bit of shoulder lift. If it's too much, set your weights down and just again perform the movement without those weights. Let's just alternate today. A little front raise. There, and down, and lift, and lower. That's all we're doing, one, and down, and two, and down, keep going. My nose is itchy. I think it's because I never did get that sneeze in, so you keep lifting while I itch my nose. Uh, uh, uh. There we go, come on, one, and down, and two, and down, and one, and down, and two. So we've just got some front raises. And we're going to do some lateral raises. Good job. You play your cards right. We'll do some shoulders seated today as well. Come on, guys. You've got this. Ah, <sighs> there. I'm thinking two more each side. Is that what you're thinking? I had a feeling. So one more, and now let's do some lateral raises. But what I want you to do is I want you to bring those weights, those cans of tuna, <laughs> up here close to your chest so your elbows are bent. And then we're gonna lift your elbows up. That's all we're doing. So lift and lower, and lift and lower. So you just poke those elbows out to the side. If this hurts at all, just wait for us to finish, right? You don't have to do it. Up and down. You have eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those weights together. So your choice. We're going to do just one more thing here. So I've got my weights here in front of me with my palms pointed forward. You don't need weights. You can set those fellas down. You can pick up, I'll pick up my coffee cups, right? So, right? Light weights, no weights, coffee cups to the front, palms facing towards me. All we're gonna do is scoop up overhead and then bring the arms back down. So nice range of movement, soft knees. Up and down yeah and up and down how about three more three i have to be really careful not to clunk them and down two and down one more time scoop and down beautiful you remember that one later today. Palms towards me, scoop it up and scoop it down. Nice range of movement. All right, we need to have a seat on your chair. So let's make sure that we can do that. Very gently, have a seat on your chair. You're gonna need your weights and you're going to need your toilet paper. But first let's have a little sip of water. Excellent. 
All right, so I got that water bottle right there. You may grab your toilet paper or your small ball if you have it. If you're fancy and you have a small ball, good for you. Let's work those inner thighs. So place your squishy device right there between your knees. Sit up tall, press yourselves away from that back of that chair a little bit, and let's just work to squeeze that toilet paper. All right, so we've just got a little press, release, press, release. That's all we're doing so we can work those inner thighs. In fact, let's go ahead and press it in for two and relax for two. Squeeze for two, relax for two. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Shall we take it a little longer? Squeeze right here. Squeeze it in for four, three, two, one, rest, rest, rest again. Squeeze, two, three, four, rest, rest. Squeeze it longer, okay. And then squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Again, squeeze for eight, seven, harder. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, rest again. Squeeze for eight, squeeze it hard, harder. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and one more time, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. I'm counting here this time, yes? See, I'm counting right there. Squeeze it as tightly as you can, come on, squeeze it. You're not gonna hurt that ball. <laughs> You're not gonna hurt that toilet paper. So just squeeze it. We really wanna feel that inner thigh. You feel it yet? I do, I do. Come on, squeeze it. Squeeze it hard, you've got this. Squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it. Lovely. Take that little squished up toilet paper, maybe give him a little mush into the proper position and we'll set him down right over there. Good, we need to do a little bit of tricepping. So you need one weight, right? One weight and we're just gonna come forward, hinge it. I'm gonna take the arm that's not working and I'm gonna set it on that thigh. We're gonna do a little kickback. So let me rotate to the side just so you can see what we're doing. We're coming forward and we're just gonna push that weight behind you. So it's a little press and release. So make sure as you do this, you're not swinging the weight around. The weight's barely moving. We press and release, press and release. Keep going, squeezing up into that tricep. Press, release. If it's too heavy, set your weight down. Press, release, press, release. Wherever you are is good. Push, release, push, release, push, release. How about four, rest, three, it's a tiny movement, two, rest, one, rest. Now take that arm back and squeeze up that tricep. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest it. Good job. Other side, you've got two arms, yes. So hand, elbow on that thigh as we hinge forward just for a little bit of support, and let's begin. Press, release, press, release. Little tricep, kickbacks. Push, release, push. Release, easy peasy, guys. Come on, be strong, be strong. We're almost done, right, with our workout today. We're almost done with our workout, which means you gotta finish strong. You started strong, you gotta finish strong so that you're ready for the rest of your day. Come on, push, release, push, release, push, release, push. We've entered that part of the class where I'm thinking, oh, there's so many things I still wanna do, but I have to hurry, right? We've probably reached that part of the class where you're thinking, hey, are we almost done? 
But if you're thinking, hey, I wish we weren't almost done, when you finish, you can just play this video again, right? You can do it all one more time. Let's press come on for four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Bring it down, lift up tall, and then let's go ahead and set that weight down somewhere carefully and wiggle out that upper body. Chances are, as I hope you do, I hope you're feeling it into that little tricep. So let's go ahead and reach those arms up to the sky, lifty, lifty, and then just bend the elbows. Point the elbows towards me, and your hands just fall down here on your back. Ready? You can give yourself a little pat on the back while you're there. Just a little pat. Let yourself know you did a good job. And fantastic. Wiggle it down. Shake out that upper body. All right, I want to do one more shoulder. We did this one last week for your rotator cuff. So important, you don't need weights at all. If you are feeling like you're just, you need something, you can put a little coffee cup or a little tiny one pound weight in your hands, nothing heavier. But we're gonna do that nice Japanese waving cat, right? The one where we just lower the arms and lift them up. We'll do both arms at the same time. Um, because the cat really wants to say hello. So <laughs> lift up. In fact, let's go ahead and push yourself back into the chair so that we've got the support of that chair behind you. So we're going to take a breath, lift those arms up, and we're just going to lower the hands and lift the hands. That's all. So down and up. Make sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders. So down and up and down. All you have is eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Release those little Japanese waving cat arms and wiggle out that upper body. Excellent. All right, so we got all your muscles, right? We didn't really get your chest. Let's squeeze in your chest. Grab your toilet paper, I hope it's nearby. So grab your toilet paper and let's go ahead and park your elbows out to the side and we're gonna squeeze that toilet paper. So if your wrists are sensitive, let's make fists with your hands and we'll squeeze your toilet paper or your ball in this fashion. So we're just gonna press and mush everything together. Mush, release, mush, release. Are you seated tall? Yes, come on. Mush, release. We've only got eight. That's all. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And rest, rest it down. All right, I kind of cheated out your chest today. So that means you're going to have some homework. I need you to do that again later. And we will make sure we get your chest next week. So, all right, let's go ahead here, wiggle into the back of your chair. Let's go ahead and lift up tall, park your hands on your thighs somewhere nice and easy, and your feet are flat on the floor. Good, lift up tall, straight spine, that tall posture that you can think about today, and let's just gently take one ear over to a shoulder. So get a little stretch. Good, and lift up tall, and other side, a little dip. and lift beautiful let's give ourselves a little spinal twist so bring your hands to your heart at namaste seated tall try not to arch away from the back of that chair but nice tall posture go ahead and give yourself a little rotation to the side here there's a little twisty twist back to the center give yourself a twisty twist to the other side And back to the center, and we'll do that again. This time, interlace the fingers, reach the arms up overhead as best you can, and rotate to the first side. And to the second side. Lovely, back to the middle, duck walk those feet out if you need a little bit more stability, and let's give it a little seated half moon, reaching out through those fingertips. Ears are parked here between your arms. And up, and give yourself a little dip to the other side. And up, lower down, 
hands to the heart. Relax those hands. You can bring those feet back together. Good. You are seated tall. Let's go ahead and just press yourselves into the back of that chair. Close your eyes for a moment. And let's just check in with your body. Closing your eyes, how do you feel? Noticing that body, everything from your toes to your fingertips up into the crown of the head. How does your body feel? Let's take in a deep breath. And then as you exhale, let go of any tension that body is still hanging on to. Take in another breath, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, energy and light. Exhale, everything your body doesn't need. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Very nice. Here, let's go ahead and think about, for the rest of your day, your own uplifting idea, thought, prayer, or just a moment of silence. As we come back, let's go ahead and just gently bring your hands to your heart right here at Namaste. Loka, Samasta, Sukino. Bottom two. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Shanti means peace. Om Shanti to you. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I cannot wait to see you all again in person. But in the meantime, drink your water, get some vitamin D, and of course, go wash your hands. I'll see you guys again very soon and take care. Namaste. Hi guys, it's Jennifer and Montag and Glenn, thank you so much for working out with us today. Remember, absolutely, go wash your paws. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.